But everything went well. The doctor says that a uh, my Achilles tendon tear, according to the MRI, it was 6.5 centimeters. So the tear had dropped to 3.2 instead of 6.5. And surprisingly enough, he said it was healing the right way, the, the ends, because he thought that he was going to have to go and, and trim. It already started coming together and it was healing and I thank God for that. I'm back home and I have my boot. Felt as though I slept for a second because I didn't feel it was that long, but then it was a three hour surgery. And when I woke up, I could hear voices. I, heard I was gonna be kept in the recovery room whilst I recover for another, was it another 45 minutes to an hour? I tried to move, but then it felt as though my feet were, were like this blob. It was like they felt, it felt as though they were so big and so fat and huge uh, and I couldn't move them. I remember when I got into the room and my husband was there already and I asked him and I said, are my feet swollen? And he said, no. And I said to him, can you see my foot moving? He said, yes. He said, yes, I can see your foot moving, but I couldn't feel my feet moving. And the first day, the pain, it was a very different pain. I felt like there were pins and needles. It's that thing that goes like doof, 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 doof. It's like, you, it's like you know when you've got a, a wound and you can feel your wound, it's like it's breathing. That's why I kept on concentrating on it. And even at night when I wanted to sleep, it was very difficult to sleep because all I could feel was just my foot breathing. And I was on the medication only for like 24 hours after the, after the surgery. Yeah, they did give me some painkillers, but I think a, a day, after a day when I was at home, I felt like there was no need for the medication. Only thing I needed to be careful of, my husband not kicking my foot because he would forget that uh, I had the surgery. But I'm not going to put my foot down for the next two weeks. Using the knee bike, I'm using the eye walk, I'm using crutches. I tried getting into the bath by myself because I felt like I can't go into a shower, even though a lot of people, they saying that the shower works better for them. For me, the bath was much better. The shower, I felt like I have to sit there. The shower was much, much scary and I couldn't stand in the shower. With the bath, it was much more easier to get in because of the knee bike. I'll put the injured foot on the knee bike and use my strong foot to get in first. It was the second time I had done it. Uh, I slipped. Might have caused some damage on the wound, but when I went to the doctor, the doctor said no. I was healing very, very nicely. So after that, I made sure that even though I still take a bath, but I don't do it alone. I do it when there's someone in the house. How are you supposed to position your foot in the, when you are sleeping? I was elevating my foot. I needed to elevate my foot in the night. My foot was going to be in the cast, and after that, he was going to get me another uh, uh, after two weeks then we were gonna get i'm gonna get the the shorter cast but i ended up not going into cast okay and uh, my scars you are going to see them i do not have apparently there is a new procedure my wound is much more sexier than those other ones that you can see that looks, that have got all the staples all the way down. So I don't have all the staples all the way down. And uh, so I've got just two cuts, two cuts. And uh, I have like, I think those screw things at the bottom of the, of my foot, but uh, I can feel my tendon because the, again, after the first day, I had to like that you have to flex your toes so so that you can be able to get to 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 move it. It it needs to move. So by the time I got home, already my my toes were moving. So uh, because my doctor made sure that on the first day of surgery, I need to move my toes. Uh, I wasn't feeling that much of a pain, so the medication was still on 
for the 48 hours I was in the hospital. Uh, so it had not worn out. So I couldn't feel what I was doing. I could easily move my toes, which he said was a very good thing. Big up to my doctor, uh, Dr. Walid. He's the best. And I'm really, really, really impressed with what he did with my foot. And um, I'm looking forward to letting you guys see everything that I used uh, because he was the one. Okay, I'm also supposed to be losing weight because he said to me, because of the injury, I had gained weight because I was not, I didn't go to the doctor immediately. I sat with my foot thinking it's not something serious, but then uh, it was something serious. So during that time, I was hopping, I couldn't exercise, uh, my foot would be in pain, and then I would end up sitting in one place and not wanting to move, thinking that by not moving, it's going to heal, which... It was not. So uh, then he said I needed to, to lose some weight. So I am on a journey to lose weight as well. So I have started a keto diet and I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying, enjoying, enjoying the keto diet. I'll give you more on that. And it's so easy. And I don't feel I'm starving myself. I eat what I like when I like. And I don't have no cravings. And thank you to the people that introduced me to keto. Uh, and I hope that you guys will check the keto diet. Thank you to everyone that's supporting me. The next video will follow shortly, but then I will be talking more about what are the things that I was using that helped me, uh, like the, the, the knee bike, the eye walk, and the crutches that I was using and what were the challenges, which one would I recommend. So I will let you guys know what my experience has been with those uh, because I know a lot of people were saying, there were a few people that I met and when they saw the knee bike and they saw the eye walk, they didn't even know those things existed. So thanks to my husband, uh, he made sure that I was mobile and I was able to move around. So thank you, honey, for making this for me. Uh, and very easy for me and love you lots and so everybody thank you keep on watching i'll post some more and uh, please if you've got any questions don't forget just let me know and then i'll try and answer them as bet as much as i can and um i'm not i do not think a lot of people they said uh, the healing takes uh, Another friend of mine said his healing took eight to nine months. I don't think mine will be there. I don't think mine will go to eight to nine months. So uh, I think I would be walking much more earlier than that because I didn't have the cast. But I will keep you posted and updated. But my doctor is the coolest. Thank you. Enjoy. And it's time delicious. Enjoy your week. Thank you. Okay, on this video, I'm going to try and show you how I position my foot at night when I was sleeping. But if you can look, if you can see there, you can see that that is the cushion. That is the pillowcase, right? So I have two pillowcases. I would position them like this because I have a foot dress. The foot dress goes all the way until the end so i would position my foot like so this is how i would position my foot when i sleep so that okay i'm trying to do it okay there we go so yeah this is this is what i would do with my foot when i'm sleeping in that position i felt like i slept very very well with my foot so when i'm tired having my foot in that position then i would just push with this foot at the bottom there so that these ones they go down like so and then this is what i have so that's what i would do in the middle of the night and then i would elevate my foot like so so when i am tired uh, i would just uh, i wouldn't if i feel like i'm tired like this again i'll just squash my foot in just like so so that i can sleep so this is how i would position my my foot in the middle of the night so that i'm able to sleep comfortably 
so went into for the surgery i had to see in anesthesia and uh, the doctor that was going to administer anesthesia so that he can tell me he can discuss with me different options and the options that we discussed we discussed about general anesthesia and the local anesthesia and then he gave me both options and said i must ch i must just choose one and then he also gives you an advice of which one he thinks that would be the best um, because also they have to take into consideration that your medical aid can be able to to cover it so for me i went for the general anesthesia not the local one so it was going to be um the one that they put on your spinal cord um so that i can be able to not feel any pain and he said that that would be best because then it takes longer to wear off so i will not be in pain immediately when i'm in the hospital probably it will wear off a day or two after the the actual surgery which it did it wore off two days after um after the surgery um so before on the day that i went in then i was admitted they regi you i registered at the front desk then they uh, assigned me a room and i went to my room as i've shown you in the previous uh, 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 video so i was wheeled in the last video that i did i ended it where i was wheeled in and then uh as I was there, I was waiting. Then they were busy prepping and washing their hands and getting ready for me. And I was in the waiting room in the theater. So then I, I was wheeled into the theater and then I had to get the anesthesia. And when they gave me the anesthetics, I had to crouch and bend my back so that they can be able to prick my back. And it was not a very painful thing. It was not painful at all because it was like, they, he did say that it wasn't going to be painful because he said the, pain, the needle that they're using is as small as a thread. So I won't really feel it. It just feels like a little prick on my finger. But it, yeah, it felt like that. And then that's what they did. And then uh, so I waited and then uh, they had an option for me whether I wanted to watch what they're doing or if I want to go to sleep. What do you think I chose? I chose to go to sleep. I can't look at someone cutting my foot. There's absolutely no way I was doing that. So yeah, I'm a coward. So I wasn't about to do that thing. So I told them, no, put me to sleep. So I, I remember telling them they must put me to sleep. I don't remember when I fell asleep, but it felt as though it was just a second, but it took three hours and uh, I woke up whilst they were busy trying to to put bandages on my foot. And uh, so they put the bandages on my foot and I watched, okay, I could feel that they were doing something, uh, 